from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. And good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson with a 10 News update. A father was sentenced to 12 years and eight months in state prison Wednesday for the deaths of his two children. Henry Lopez fell asleep drunk with a lit cigarette. That sparked a fire at his Rancho Bernardo condo that killed seven-year-old Isabella and 10-year-old Christos. Lopez defended himself in court, saying he did everything he could to save his kids. Governor Gavin Newsom will not call a special election to replace departing Congressman Duncan Hunter. Hunter, who pleaded guilty last month of misusing campaign funds, will resign effective Monday. His 50th district seat was already up for election this year, and the governor's office says, based on the timing, a special election will not be called. That means that seat will sit empty until Hunter's replacement is sworn in next year. And San Diego State football coach Rocky Long stepped down Wednesday after nine winning seasons. The Aztecs named his defensive line coach Brady Hoke as his replacement. Hoke actually served as San Diego State's head coach in 2009 and 10 and guided the Aztecs to a bowl game in his second season. He later took a high profile job at the University of Michigan before becoming back, coming back to San Diego. Hoke takes over the program as the Aztecs try to keep momentum of 10 straight bowl appearances. A lot of changes out there, including the weather. A little cool. That's right. Cooler, cloudier, and we have some showers for tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will stay near 60 or slightly below whether you're at the coast or inland, and it'll be in the afternoon when we'll see some light rain. Most places picking up under a quarter of an inch, closer to a tenth, maybe about a hundredth near uh, downtown San Diego. Very light regardless. Very light. Okay, Angelica, thank you. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Steve Atkinson.